Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Hot Seat Interview. I am your host, Leo Brady, film critic with TheMovieGuy.com, and I am incredibly excited today to be here with a guest who everybody knows from movies such as Swingers, Boogie Nights, and even most recently, her awesome turn in horror movies with Suitable Flesh. This is the Heather Graham. Heather, thank you for being with me today. Oh, thanks for that amazing intro. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. I'm so excited to be talking with you today. We're we're here to talk about um, your new film, Chosen Family. Uh, but I always start these interviews off by asking, what's a movie for you that you think of and that makes you say, what was the movie for you that you saw and made you say, I want to be an actor? Um, okay, I guess it's a mixture of The Wizard of Oz Sound of Music, The Godfather, and Sophie's Choice. What a what a They're collection! Kind of very diverse selection. Yeah, that, yeah, that pretty much. I mean, that speaks to sort of uh, your acting career in a lot of ways too. And also Tootsie, Tootsie. I I I, I was obsessed with Tootsie. My my mother, huge fan of Tootsie, huge fan of that movie. Um, that's awesome. Uh, great answer. Uh, a movie that I also wanted to ask you about and that I am quite fond of is Gus Van Zandt's Drugstore Cowboy. Uh, I mean, that's coming up on 35 years since that movie came out. Wow. But would you say that's a movie that sort of changed the trajectory of your acting career in a lot of ways? For sure. I mean, that was the second film that I did. The first was Licensed to Drive, which was more of a commercial studio film. But, you know, Drugstore Cowboy was, it came out during a period when independent movies were really, it was an exciting moment in independent cinema at that time. And it was just fun to work with a bunch of artistic people on a cool independent movie. It, it definitely was a really exciting moment of my career. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, and and after that too, I mean, Obviously, this might be a, a sort of a, a tough question, but obviously your career, you've been pretty open with it, has has been no stranger to things like sexism and, and things that you've had to deal with, sort of the roles that maybe you've been typecasted. But it feels like with recently with like Chosen Family and, and Suitable Flesh, you're, you've really sort of pushed back against that and taken control and said like, I'm, I am the person that can change that trajectory or whatever maybe negative viewpoints that people might have had about past roles well i do feel like sexism in a culture would like judge a woman for being sexual but not a man you know yeah. and yeah. i do hope that people are evolving where it's like well women should be allowed to have their sexuality too and not to judge that negatively we, we're not judging men negatively when they uh do movies about sex so right. I think it's cool that like newer generations seem to have less of uh, women seem to have more freedom to be sexual people without feeling that there's this like negative judgment about people being sexual. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it seems like just the, even the roles that you've chosen too. I mean, like, like the, the types of films that you've made recently, a Western suitable flash, a horror film, you did a Christmas movie, you're doing a family comedy here with chosen family you know what is it i'm now? doing another horror movie too if you like horror films um i'm in south africa i'm actually making this movie called they will kill you oh and my God. it's super it's a really good script uh, I love, yeah I, I love it we can <laughs> see it um yeah. but like what what is it for you in this phase of your life and, and your career that's sort of making you say like I, i'm willing to try it all I, I i'm not just gonna be the romantic interest or i'm not just gonna be you know, the, the pretty girl, I I'm going to be, you know, myself and be different. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's funny because I'm working with Patricia Arquette right now. She's in the movie, they will kill you. And I look at yeah. her career and she's so cool how she's playing all these like different roles now. Like I totally look up to her. Like I would literally play any kind of crazy role. I would love it, you know? And, um, I, I think it's cool stories too that are from a female point of view, like as, as a viewer, like I love it when there's a female protagonist and, I don't know. I just feel like it's exciting. There's so many cool stories to be told. And I just, um, I, I want to bite my teeth into juicier parts. So I'm hopefully like the juiciest is yet to come. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I mean, and it's it's awesome, too, because with Chosen Family, I mean, this is sort of this is your second film directing. You, you know, your first film was Half Magic. And now with Chosen Family, you know, you you're, you're not really afraid to put a little bit of your personal life into these scripts and into these stories. Uh, what is it sort of for you that inspired you to sort of make this movie about family dysfunction and 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 where you can find your family anywhere. I think watching stand up comedy really inspired me. I really like female stand up comedians. Like there's so many people that I love, you know, Amy Schumer, Ali Wong, Taylor Tomlinson, you know, Whitney Cummings, all these people that I've watched. Um, and the way that they tell their own personal stories and put it in there and it's relatable, but it's funny and taking, you know, painful things but finding humor. I really like that, you know, or Judd Apatow. I, I like how he kind of, it feels like his movies feel like somehow real in a way, you know, like the yeah. big sick was like a true story about Kamel Nanjiani and his wife. And I don't know. I, I, I like watching stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's good to, it, it feels really just very open and honest. And I think that's what I loved about this film. And that's why, you know, it, it it's great to see your career sort of take this turn and be directing, be behind the director's chair Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, last question before I let you go. I just wanted to ask sort of about the experience you had with this cast. I mean, it just looks like you're having a blast. You've got Julia Stiles and Thomas yeah. Lennon. Talk about sort of that whole group of people. And I, I, it it certainly radiates off the screen. Oh, well, I mean, it's great when you make an independent film. We did not have like a massive budget. So when you get these extremely talented people that are the top of the Feel that are doing your film you're just like basically so grateful that they took the time to be in the film and yeah julia styles thomas lennon andrea savage you know just like you know like i'm so grateful that they said yes you know john brotherton's great in it julie yeah. halston plays the mom michael gross i don't know there's it, i feel so lucky that these people agreed to be in the film yeah yeah, well, you all, you guys all look like you're having such a great time, and it, and it's there's plenty of laughs, a lot of uh, uncomfortable laughs, and a lot of fun <laughs> to watch in this movie. Uh, Heather, they're telling me to wrap up. Thank you so much. All right, for thanks for talking. Great yeah. to talk to you. And Chosen Family will be in theaters this weekend, October 11th, and we can't wait to see you in your next horror film too. That sounds great. Okay, hopefully I'll talk to you when that comes out. All right, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. All right.